Hi, I'm Rita Book from Snow Isle Libraries. One of the best parts of the Snow Isle Libraries mega fun Biblio Trivia Rock'em Sock'em third grade reading challenge is when the students have the chance to meet an author. Here are highlights of authors who either visited with third graders at their schools or created exclusive videos just for us over the years. What's exciting to me about being involved in the third grade reading challenge is that I never got to meet an author until I was an adult. I wrote my very first book when I was in third grade, but I never knew what the next step was after that. I never knew how to go from liking to write to becoming an author. And I love watching kids in schools take that next step and be able to envision themselves in my shoes and to ask me the kinds of questions that I wish I could have asked somebody. The uh, Reading Hurricanes team from Twin City Elementary, uh, and they ask, as a child, what kind of superpowers did you wish for? Uh, yeah, when I was a kid, I you know, wished I had superpowers, still wish I could have superpowers. Um, probably if I could pick one, it would be super speed, so I'd be able to um, write and draw tons and tons of books. Um, although I also think flying would be pretty awesome because um, I love to travel but it takes so long to get places and, um, and you're stuck in those little seats on the airplane. It would be pretty cool if you could just kind of zip around the, the world and, and see all the sights. Uh, Alright, we have time for one more question and this one comes from the Detail Survivors team from Twin City Elementary and the question is how does it feel to be an author? Well, it's awesome. Uh, being an author is um, a lot like getting to do recess all the time. Um, uh, being an author is super fun because I get to use my imagination for a job. Uh, I also work from home, so uh, when I'm creating my books, I can work in my pajamas if I want. Um, and uh, I also get to travel a lot as an author and get to meet kids all over the country. Um, I get to meet other authors. Um, and uh, yeah, just have a lot of fun creating stories. The setting in the Zoe and Sasha Press books is mainly one that I thought of in my imagination. So it's not any particular place. But I did think a lot about the forest we have here in Seattle when I was writing about the forest in the Zoe books. And when I wrote about the stream in the story that Zoe visits, I thought a lot about the stream that we have running through town. I wanted to combine magic and science because I love science um, and so does my daughter and when I was writing the series she was really into magical creatures and I thought well, what a great uh, way to combine two things that we both love. Um, it also comes in handy as a writer when I need something to move along a little bit more quickly than it would in real life like in Zoe and Sassafras book 5. I write about a plant and normally it take quite a while for a plant to go through its whole life cycle since I'm writing about a magical plant, it can go faster. So it is a nice trick to have up my sleeve as a writer as well. A lot of people ask me um, whether I was a writer or a, an avid reader when I was a kid. And the truth is, is that I did not really embrace writing or reading until um, a little bit later. I was what teachers called a reluctant reader when I was growing up, which meant, didn't mean that I couldn't read, but it just meant that I sort of avoided reading a little bit. Um, I had trouble finding books that were right for me. Um, but as I grew older, I developed a love for reading. And when I got to college, I developed a love for writing. And I started writing and trying to get my first book published when I was about 30 years old. So I am pretty darn old. But since that time, it's been really fun. Um, I really do love writing. Now, when I was a kid, um, even though I was a reluctant reader, I found books that I did like, and I really enjoyed reading comic books when I was a kid. Two of my favorite titles were Spider-Man, and I really liked The Incredible Hulk. Um, I also liked reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I hope some of you guys have started reading that book. Um, anything by Shel Silverstein, you guys may have heard of a book called The Giving Tree. I also liked a book called Where the Sidewalk Ends. Um, and then my very favorite book growing up was a book called The Phantom Tollbooth by Norton Juster. And I really did enjoy that and I would read it again and again and again. When you're a, um, a writer, you know, I showed you that little diagram. Mm -hmm. The character wants something and they can't get it. So they keep trying. This is a great way for you to actually write a story if you don't know 
uh, what you want to write about. Let's, you just create this character and just and just really develop them. Ask lots of questions. Like, Where'd you come from? Where's your family? You know, anything. You could, what are your fears? What are your dreams? And get to really know them, and then find out what they want, and then stop them from getting it. Just that you know, that's your job as an author. Like you can't have what you want. So let's see what you're going to do to get it, and then they're going to keep trying to get it. If they get it, that story is over. And so for me, like that story ended right then. Their life went on, but I, when, when you write a story about a character, you pick a story from their life. And if you're, if you're smart, you would probably pick like one of the most important ones, one of the ones where, like, they were really challenged and they had to really step up, and maybe even like risk something. To get what they want, so you tell that, and when you get it, it's over, and off you go. Uh, this one from Spruce Elementary from Jasmine, who has the same name as Jasmine Taguchi. Why did you write this book? Well, one reason I wrote it was because I came up with the idea, and I couldn't let go of it. I really wanted to write this story about Jasmine. Uh, another reason why I wrote this particular book was that when I was your age, I did not see. Any or many books with characters that looked like me and had similar experiences, like growing up in this country. So it was important to me to write a story about an Asian American little girl who lived in this country in Los Angeles. So a little bit about her culture, but mostly, you know, about friendship and family. So that was a lot of the reason why I wrote this series. I had this dream of wanting to be a published author, and I had to keep working at it and getting better and better and chasing after my dream. So I'd like to tell you all that if you have a dream, to keep working at it and learning about it and trying and practicing and to go after your dreams. I wish you a lot of luck in that. Snow Isle. Mega fan. Biblio trivia. Rock'em sock'em. Third grade reading challenge. 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 Wow, we are so grateful that these authors spent time with the third graders to answer their questions and make reading and writing more fun. One day, maybe one of our third graders will become an author. We look forward to meeting more authors in the future.